Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, you got your girl Sabrina right here. And I'm just super excited on today because I just have so much love and gratitude on my heart. And for these keys to success that I'm about to share with you guys, you know, it's a lot of people out here that um, are struggling. They're struggling in life when the keys to success to the and the keys to wealth and to the keys to prosperity is here for us guys so i'm going to share what these keys to success is all right so i'm gonna wait till a few more people jump on i need you guys to come on come on come on really really quickly and like and share this video like and share this video my friends because we're going to talk about the keys to success hey arlie girl you better share this video i got some news for y'all today diana share this video i got some i got something for you today I got the keys. I got the keys, y'all. Do y'all know what the keys mean? Think about this. When you have the keys to your house, you know you can get in with full confidence. Right, Arlie? Right? When you got the keys to your house, you ain't worried about nothing. You know how to get in. Good morning, Matika. When you got the keys to your car, you know how to get in, right? You know how to get in. You don't have to worry about breaking and entering. You don't got to bust a window out. You know how to get in your car. When you got the keys, right? When you got the keys, I'm about to give you guys some keys. So when you got these keys that I'm about to share with you guys on success, you can obtain success with no worries, with no doubt, with no fear, because these keys will unlock the door to success, all right? And so first... The first thing I want to say that the first key to success is God told us that we must be fruitful, right? We must be fruitful. That's the first key. So I'm going to break it down for you, but I want to tell you what the first key is. The first key is that we must be fruitful, right? How do we be fruitful? How, when you see a fruit, how does a fruit come about? A fruit come about because it the seed was planted, right? What seeds are you planting? What are you producing, my friends? What are you producing? So the first thing, you got to be fruitful. And how do you be fruitful? You got to have ideas. You got to be able to use your imagination. God has given us the ability to think. He has given us the ability to create ideas in our mind, right? And your ideas will give you the ability to become wealthy. So if you want to be successful, my friends, you got to be able to be fruitful. You got to be able to produce something. You got to be out here planting seeds, all right? You got to be out here planting different seeds, putting, making your ideas come into reality. That's the first key. To success, all right. The second key to success is said you have to multiply. He said, Be fruitful and multiply, 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 multiply. So, that means, my friends, when you have an idea, you produce something, you multiply it. How do you multiply it? For example, apple, right? Produce something. This was a seed, he produced something. Apple produced something. This was the product to produce something right apple apple produced the phone right and so he produced something that was being fruitful he planted a seed the apple iphone started with the two right now we at the 10 it's the apple this a 10 right so it started with the two he planted those seeds he was being fruitful right and so then he began to multiply so it's he mass produced he didn't just create one phone he mass produced the phone so everybody in the world damn near got what a apple iphone right they damn near, they got the apple iphone so he mass produced it he multiplied it right he multiplied the iphone right and so once you multiply the iphone what do you have to do with it my friends hey keith what do you do? So you was you produce something, you was fruitful, and then you multiplied it. So what he didn't just multiply and make a bunch of them. What he had to do? He had to distribute it, right? He had to distribute it. He had to put it out in the marketplace. He had to put it out in the marketplace. It wasn't until he put it out to the marketplace that Steve Jobs became wealthy, right? He put it out, of the, he mass produced it, he put it out in the marketplace, 
and he began to sell Apple iPhones, right? He began to sell Apple iPhones. And then not only that, he continued to multiply by coming out with a new one, um, upgrading the software every time, right? So that is what Apple, if you, if you take the business module, hi, Kimberly, of what happened with the Apple iPhone, that is one of the keys to success my friends do you understand what i'm saying if you understand what i'm saying give me some fire in the com comment box if you were if you oh thank you um <laughs> thank you keith so you already know so the keys to success are one be fruitful key two is multiply my friends and let me tell you something your success this is another key your success is god's reward your success is God's reward, all right? You know why? Because if you're not successful, then God does not get the reward. He does not get the reward for failure. Think about the Apple iPhone. The Apple iPhone is not successful if it's broke, right? The manufacturer, Steve Jobs, is not successful if he mass produce, you know, Apple, and it don't work. That's why Apple iPhone have a guarantee on it. It say if this phone and a warranty, if this phone don't work, then you can bring it back to the manufacturer and I'm going to give you a new one. Right? And so God has gave you the key to success. He said be fruitful and multiply. And so he wants you to be successful. God, God wants you to be successful because for one, his name is on the line. His name is on the line. He is the manufacturer of you. So if you don't be successful, then guess what? His name is on the line. People don't want to think that God is a liar. God is a failure. So he created you. He wants you to be successful. So he gave you the keys. And when you have a key, what does that mean? That means you are confident that whatever key that you're using to go into your house, to go into your business, to get in your car, is going to work. So the key to success is being fruitful and multiplying, my friends. It's being fruitful and multiplying. And so if you are being fruitful and you are multiplying, then that is the key to success. But to, how do you be fruitful and multiply? You got to get still. You got to get still. You got to start exercising. You got to get your mind right. You got to start having a relationship with God, right? It's time out for religion. It's time out for religion. And it's time to have a relationship with with God so you can get the ideas that you need in your mind so that you can get the, the the Holy Spirit inside of you good morning Jarvis so you can now become an advocate for God's work it's time for you to be fruitful and multiply it's time for you to become a person of influence it's time of you to go out here in the world and help God's people, all right? You can produce something, my friends. You can produce something. Think about this. Think about a tree for a moment. I remember my grandmother um, had a pear tree in her yard. That pear tree, if, if fruit was not on that tree, we was not worried about that tree. We was planning all that. But once that tree began to bear pears, once that it was beautiful, once that tree had the leaves on it, then guess what? We went to the tree and started pulling the fruit off the tree. Why, why we wasn't studying the tree when the fruits went on it? And I'm saying to say this, nobody cares about you. Nobody wants to be attracted to a person that doesn't bear fruit. No one does not see you. I don't care what type of idea you have. I don't care what you got going on in life. No one is going to pay attention to you until you become fruitful. Until you take this key that I just gave you, produce something with an idea. No one is going to pay attention to you until you start bearing fruit. And when you start bearing fruit, my friends, when you start bearing fruit, my friends, that is when people will become attracted to you. People will come to you trying to pull your fruit off of your tree. You can now pull those fruit off of that tree because you are now fruitful. You will be able to attract and influence everybody around you. People will be bringing you money trying to see how did you produce that fruit, trying to buy that idea just like everybody going crazy. Oh, shoot. 
about these iPhones, right? About these iPhones. As long as the idea about the iPhone was in Steve Jobs' mind, nobody didn't want to buy it. But the moment he mass produced it, began to multiply it and started to perfect it, he didn't have to beg anybody to buy these phones from him. People wanted the fruit of the iPhone. This is the fruit of the tree that Steve Jobs did. And so you have to understand, guys, the key to success is being fruitful and being able to multiply. And so what fruit will you produce? What idea do you have in the inside of you? How many people are you helping eat? Thou, those are the keys to success, my friends. Those are the keys to success, all right? And so like and share this video. Help someone else with the keys to success because it's time out to trying to say, I don't know how to make any money. I don't know how to be successful. God has given us the keys to success, my friends. He has given us the laws of prosperity. If you follow the laws of prosperity, then you will be successful. Success and failure is both predictable. Success is predictable. People wake up every day trying to figure out, am I going to be successful or not? If you're not producing anything, if you're not multiplying anything, if you're not following the laws of success, meaning you got to be fruitful and multiply, you got to plant seeds, you got to become a person of influence, you got to become a person of value, you got to become a person of power. How do you do that? By educating yourself, by perfecting your skill, becoming an expert in whatever field that you in so you can now produce something. So whatever that idea is, you got to be able to perfect it. You got to be able to learn, you know, learn more about that idea so you can now produce and multiply, I mean, multiply more of it, my friends. And so if you are if you are doing those things, then you can say, you know what, I'm going to be successful because all success is, is following the keys, following the laws. God has given us the laws. So if we follow the laws, then we know that we're going to be successful. But if you're not following the laws, then guess what? You're going to fail. So failure and success is predictable. You can look at yourself. Hey, Teresa, you can look at yourself and say, you know what? I'm going to be a failure because I'm not producing anything. I'm not creating anything. I'm not multiplying anything. I'm not learning every single day. I'm not um, educating myself every single day. I'm not becoming a skillful person, a knowledgeable person. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not sitting down thinking about ideas i'm watching tv i'm gossiping you doing everything else besides growing you perfecting you and so if you're doing everything else opposite of being successful then you already know that you're going to be a failure success means that you are producing something success means that you are multiplying something all right so you cannot produce anything if you're not taking time out for you, for you to think of ideas, for you to research the resources, for you to perfect your idea so it can multiply. If you're not doing those things, my friends, and guess what? Your failure is predictable. You can look at your life and say five years from now, I'm going to be broke, busted, and disgusted because I don't have any ideas. I'm unable to, I'm not learning anything every single day. I'm not producing anything. I'm not um, becoming a person of influence. I'm, I don't have any value. So if you don't have any, in, any value in the inside of you, you will not be successful. But my friends, if you use the keys that I just said in the beginning of this video, go watch the replay. If you're watching me right now, put a one in the comment box. If you're watching the replay, put two in the comment box. If you're getting some, some, some value from this information, my friends, like and share this video and put me some fire in the comment box. Put me some fire in the comment box, all right? Because I want you to understand if you want to be successful, you need these keys. It's keys to success, my friends. It's keys to success. Teresa, can you put in the comment box the keys to success is to um, be fruitful and to multiply, meaning that you got to produce. 
You got to produce and you got to multiply. Those are the two things that even the Bible that God tells us that we have to do in order to be successful. And if you have these keys to success, my friends, just like you got the key to your car, you know that if, you, if I put the key in my car so it started up, it's going to work. If my car is going to crank because that key works. So if you got the, if I'm giving you the key to success saying that you got to produce something, you got to create something, you got to be able to produce it, and then you got to be able to multiply it. Hey, Anthony. Hi, Mr. Zuloff. Hi, Bridget. If you're able to do those things, then you got the key. You're going to be successful. All right. So like I said, success and failure is predictable. If you're using the right keys, you're going to be successful. If you're not using those keys, if you're not following those laws, then your failure is predictable. All right. So I love you, my friends. Like and share this video. Put me some fire in the comment box if you enjoyed. If you got some value from this um, video, help someone else by hitting the share button. And understand this. I believe in you. I believe that you deserve to win, my friends. So if you're looking for a way to um, earn some money, manage your money, and multiply your money, Shoot me your inbox right now. Say, Sabrina, I'm ready. I'm ready to elevate my life for 2019 because these strategies that I use right here, you will not lose. You will not lose with the stuff I use. All right, my friends, because I have the keys to success. I know that if I follow the right um, laws and the right principles, that I will be successful. So I want to share these keys and these laws with you guys on a personal level so we can be successful together. All right, my friends. So you deserve to win. I'll see you guys on the inside. Bye-bye now.